Hello, and welcome to my first, and if I like it, hopefully not last ASMR video. I'm going to be going through the Metal Gear Solid manual today. The reason why is because on Twitter, I am somewhat known for saying funny things in a Solid Snake impression. Um, very ridiculous things. Not necessarily something I would say in a video like this, but I have considered doing like a snake roleplay. So if I can somehow find a way to make a gruff soldier guy sound very quiet, <laughs> then expect that in the near future. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip through the manual. I'm going to read through the basic plot, or I guess the synopsis, like a starting point and read through a couple of characters, say some things I like about them, some things I don't like about them, and it'll be pretty straightforward. I assume if you've looked for a video like this, you have at least a pretty good understanding of the games. If not, I will try to keep it vague. I will mention beforehand, if, like I will mention any serious spoilers before anything. Uh, if anything comes across. I doubt it, but the warning will be there. Okay, so on this page we have the cast. One thing I like about the casting choices, not ch casting choices, one thing I like about the cast listing for this is that I think it was something to do with voice acting laws between a game in Japan and the United States, but some of the actors are using fake names. Except for David Hayter, because I guess he's just a really ballsy guy. Liquid Snake, um, his voice actor, Cam Clark, is listed as James Flinders. And Roy Campbell, um, his voice, um, Paul Eiding, that's it, Paul Eiding, is listed as Paul Otis. So those kind of sound like weird alternate reality uh, versions of them. Anyway, anyway. The dawn of the new millennium, the 21st century. The nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago is attacked and captured by next generation special forces led by members of Foxhound. The terrorists have secured hundreds of nuclear warheads and they're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss. He becomes important later on. They warn that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Solid Snake is once again called back to duty and a top secret mission to deal with the greatest terrorist threat the world has ever seen. This week. First, he must single-handedly infiltrate the nuclear weapons disposal site and rescue two hostages, DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the President of Arms Tech, Kenneth Baker, and then eliminate the terrorist threat and prevent a nuclear launch. The clock is ticking. Once again, Snake cuts into the battle, alone. Next page we got Snake and Merrill in the coolest poses ever, and by that I mean they're standing completely still, but because Yoji Shinkawa drew them, they look incredible. He could take a picture of a guy sitting down and make it look like the most badass thing ever. But anyways, infiltration. Infiltrate without being seen by your enemies, unless you're like me and you get seen all the time. You're a solid snake, and you've got to single-handedly infiltrate the nuclear weapons disposal facility, which is being occupied by a group of terrorists. If the enemy spots Snake, they will call in reinforcements and go after him. You can't win in a firefight against superior numbers, so try to avoid unnecessary battles whenever you can. Mission Objectives Snake has two primary missions. 1. Infiltrate the nuclear disposal site. Determine the nuclear launch capabilities of the terrorists and prevent a launch at all costs. And two, rescue the DARPA chief and the Arms Tech president. Both are being held as hostages. When the game begins, your first goal is to rescue the DARPA chief. And before the game begins, Snake has an even more important mission of taking care of his little doggies. I, for one, am dying to see um, Oscar Isaac portray um, frontier deep snow alaska snake in the movie they're gonna have to get like 50 dogs for him 
but I would love that. And I, I know a lot of guys who would be <laughs> more than stoked to see that. So now that, that we've got the gist for, or I've said it again, we've got the synopsis of the story. I'm just going to go over to the character sheets and see the beautifully, beautifully drawn art of everyone. And I'm just going to go down the list. I'm just going to go through some main characters, maybe the big three, I suppose we'll call them, and then two of the big bads. So we got Salt Snake, who is a former member of Foxhound and an expert at infiltration. He can accomplish the mission under any circumstances, in any location. I would have to say my favorite thing about Snake, especially in this game, is how emotionless he is, especially in this one, and how he opens up over time. Um, I like that the PS1's graphics kind of date it, like snake doesn't have any eyes he just has an eye patch for his eyes um but it's very interesting to hear these like thought-provoking things come out of someone who looks like a hexagon i think it's very silly it is very silly but i think it's very touching um next we've got meryl silverberg she is campbell's niece she was caught in the middle of foxhound's revolt she has excellent training as a soldier but no actual battle experience. I have very strong opinions on Meryl. Um, one, she was my childhood crush, and I kind of look like her now. And two, um, in my opinion, for lack of a better word, I think she was kind of robbed. Um, she had a lot of interesting development in the first game. She just wasn't in the second game. Um, and in four, um, at the end of the game, something really dumb happens <laughs> to her, um, and it breaks my heart. Um, Kojima can be a genius or a dumbass. And up next, we've got Hal Emmerich, aka Otacon, an employee of Arms Tech Inc. His nickname, Otacon, as I just said a second and a half ago, um, stands for Otaku Convention, a Japanese animation festival. I like Otacon because he is ridiculous <laughs> and is very important to the lore. Um, that is a recurring theme with a lot of characters in this game. Um, I think he at first provides a really good comic relief, but over time becomes very necessary to the plot. I This is more of a... <laughs> This is more of a biased thing, but I am certainly hoping that for the movie, they do a role reversal. You could have, oh man, well, this is a spoiler for Metal Gear Solid 1, I apologize. At the end of the game, you could choose between going to save Meryl and going to save Otacon. I would personally like it if Snake ended up with Otacon at the end of the movie. I think it would be cool and it would make a lot of people mad, which I think is still pretty cool. Um... Next up, we have got the big bad. Still a spoiler, but you know, now I think about it, this game is 20 years old. Liquid Snake, a man with the same face as Snake. As Foxhound's squad leader, he's the mastermind behind the terrorist attack. Liquid Snake is very funny. <laughs> he's British for no reason. He doesn't wear a shirt. Um, and he hates Snake because his jeans are really cool. It's, it was the 90s. <laughs> it was, it was easier to do stuff like that. He's just timeless, I want to say. He's got a mullet. He's wonderful. He's so funny. He's so, so funny. But somehow he can be surpassed by this next guy. Revolver Ocelot, an expert with handguns and a sadist with a penchant for torture. Um, Russian cowboy, homosexual. He can't die. He just is responsible for everything. And 
he changes his accent like maybe three or four times throughout the entire season. He's great. He's great. I hate him, but I kind of like to hate him. He is absolutely ridiculous, and I cannot wait to see who they pick to play him in the movie. Maybe if I had to pick, if I had to pick who would play Ocelot, um, Willem Dafoe is Ocelot. Definitely Willem Dafoe is Ocelot. I'm trying to think of who else I would want to play who. I believe the actor who played Roy Batty is dead. And if he wasn't, he would definitely be too old. But if he, if in an alternate reality where he's still young, I would want him to play Liquid. Um, I don't know who would play Otacon. That's a tough one. Um, I definitely don't want uh, Scarlett Johansson as Meryl. And it's definitely going to happen. And that kind of makes me sick to my stomach. That is... <laughs> it's going to happen. It's definitely going to happen. But, you know, you just have to live through the pain. Oh, another thing I like about this is that I just love how dated the this whole manual is. At the end, there is, like, a little ad for a mission handbook. And, like, it gives you, like, a number for, like, a retail store. And it's so, so cute. And at the back of it, there is an ad for a little, well, uh, not really well-known uh, indie game. You might have heard of it called Silent Hill. And it says, Welcome to Hell. And from what I remember, it is definitely not even close to that. <laughs> it's just a fun little book. I might do a second part on this where I kind of go in more in depth. I might not. We'll just have to see. I might work on a snake role play. Who knows? Um, there's not a lot of Metal Gear content in the ASMR community, so maybe I can help change that. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Uh, if you liked it, leave a comment. If you didn't, leave a comment, and I'll be mad at you. Bye.